Today I'm going to talk to you about a tool from Microsoft that helps you uninstall or install things that are giving you issues like sometimes uh, you'll uninstall a software and it won't uninstall properly and it may leave itself in the computer but not listed in your programs and features or if you're on an older Windows system add and remove list so I will show you how to use this tool. I can't show you all the way till the end because I have no current issues to fix, but I will try to go as far as possible. So we'll open it up. I've already downloaded it. There will be a link in the video description to where you can download this. It's just loading up now. Now first it asks you to accept the Microsoft license agreement. So you click accept and it downloads and installs a few things. And then it, here, here it says detect problems and apply fixes for me recommended which means automatic and it lets the program decide but I choose uh, the bottom here detect problems and let me select the fixes to apply so it doesn't accidentally remove something that I don't want it to. So now I will audit the system and uh, after you select installing or uninstalling so if you had a problem uninstalling something and it didn't uninstall correctly uh, this program will audit your system and look for programs that have possibly been uninstalled incorrectly now as you can see there's a list here of a bunch of programs and if you scroll down you'll see more of course now recently I had a problem with NVIDIA physics and what had happened is that uh, I had uninstalled a graphics uh, driver software and for some reason the physics was left in the programs and features or at a remove list if you're on an older Windows system. So I figured I would use CCleaner to get rid of the entry. Well that didn't completely get rid of it. So today I found this program by uh, searching online and it worked. It was able to uh, remove whatever was left and now NVIDIA Physics shows up in my programs and features or add and remove if you're on an older Windows system. So basically what you would do next is select the program you want to uninstall and then just click next and it would run through it and repair and delete whatever is necessary and then be finished. And it asks you if it worked, if it didn't work and if you don't know if it worked and I just selected I don't know because I didn't check to see if it worked or not and then I clicked either cancel or finish so this program comes in handy when you have things that didn't uninstall correctly if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section one thing I did forget to mention is that when you're done using the Microsoft Fixit uh, program install uninstall program that we just uh, talked about um, there will be leftover folders and files um, so here are their locations it's under your local C drive and then uh, the folder will be named mats M-A-T-S and then there is another uh, uh, some files in the temporary folder under users and then your username, app data, local, and then temp. There will be uh, temporary files in there that you may want to delete. So there are two folders uh, that you may want to delete and then some random files in the temporary uh, folder. I just thought I would let you know that just in case you want to get rid of the program once you're done using it. Subscribe or visit my channel.